Hey there, my name is Dominic. I'm a psychology major with a minor in media communications and I'm in my third year here at Webster University Geneva. Hi, I'm Claire, also in my third year in Webster University Geneva and I'm majoring in psychology and minoring in media communications. And today we're going to take you on a campus tour, just showing you the Webster University Geneva campus, which was situated in a suburban park in the lakeside village of Bellevue, only about a minute walk away from the train station. Trains typically pass every 15 minutes on weekdays and every 30 minutes on weekends, so make sure you check the schedule and buy your tickets. And now we're going to take you into the Living and Learning Center, or LLC for short. And now we're in the student lounge at the LLC basement where the student-led bar, the Gorlok Den, is housed and is open every Thursday night. The student lounge itself is a great place for our students to come in, meet with other students, relax and study. And we also have a bookable meeting room. Right across from the lounge you can find the gym and the laundry room, convenient facilities for students residing in the on-campus dorms. The gym is open to students and staff. There is a schedule on the door that shows when the space is reserved. Upstairs we have the commons room, where we host larger events such as panels and guest speakers, as well as the informal receptions that follow. In addition to that, we also host yearly events such as Global Thanksgiving and Webster's Got Talent. Across from that, we have the Student Affairs Office, which is shared with the Residential Life Office. The Student Affairs Office is there to promote student engagement and student development through the SGA and student activities. This is also the office where you will come for your Swiss permit and local insurance. The Residential Life Office is there to help you with any questions regarding your housing and to support you in matters regarding shared living. Next to that, we have the Career Services Office, which is there to help you with getting an internship, CV writing, interview preparation, and planning career paths and options. In the LLC, we also have three classrooms, which are equipped with technology for presentations and Wi-Fi, and typically class size goes up to 14 people. Upstairs in the top two floors, you will find the student residences, and if you're a freshman, you're most likely gonna be living there. So now we are on the other side of the LLC, facing the campus. As you can see, the campus is surrounded by greenery and quiet, thus making it a very calm and stress-free environment. There's also a small public path that is situated in a forest area with a stream. And there are two main buildings that you will have classes in. One is called Alps, the other one is called Jura. An easy way to remember which one is which is that the Alps building faces the Alps mountains, whilst the Jura building faces the Jura mountain range. And now we're on the top floor of the Alps building, where there are two computer labs, the media lab, where we are now, and a study room. On the other floors, we have classrooms, more computer labs, and the library. The library has a large collection of books that are useful for research and your classes, and it is also a great place to study. And for the musically inclined, you can find the music room in the basement of the Alps. You only need to show your student ID to the librarian in order to get the key for it. So now we are in the top floor of the Jura building with the incredible view of the Mont Blanc behind us. Here we have the IT and media office where they manage the lab support and this is also where you can borrow media equipment for your classes. Below it we have the learning center where you can go if you need help with your studies, writing essays or tutoring. On the ground floor you can find the cafeteria which is open to all students, faculty as well as to the public. As a student you may pay either through the proposed meal plan or each time you buy something. We're now on the very top of the campus, in the upper parking lot right next to the admissions villa, and the administration building is right behind us. On the ground floor you can find the reception, which is where you collect your student IDs, and also where you can find the lost and found. Across from that is the advising office, where you can meet with your academic advisors to discuss your courses and schedules, and any particular course challenges you are having. Around this area is also the bookstore, and next to that is the registrar's office. This office will provide your attestation of arrival and help with the enrollment for the Swiss permit. In the same area you can also find the business office. In the basement you will find the dark room, which is a bit of a hidden secret. And on the top two floors you will find staff offices, including the one of the campus director. On top of the campus you can also find the counseling chalet, and across from that the admissions villa with faculty offices upstairs. We hope you enjoyed our tour of the Webster University Geneva campus. And we look forward to seeing you soon.